way, shape, or form. We're glad to be here tonight. We're so glad. That's all right. Yeah, we're glad to be God with us on our side. It'd be hard to sing without some kind of prayer or something. <laughs> I want to ask you folks a question tonight before we get started. If you knew that tonight, and I say this a lot, especially when I'm preaching. If you knew that tonight was the very last time you ever had a chance to serve God, to gather in his church house, and worship him, what kind of service would we have tonight? How would you act? Now it's easy, a big crowd of people here, crowd, it's real easy to just sit still, Brother R, and not say nothing because you don't want to offend nobody here. You don't want to speak out of place or out of turn, so to speak, you might think. But I want you to know something, that when you're in God's house, you're never out of order. When you're calling out upon His name, or when you're speaking on His behalf, it's never out of order. And I know how they do services here, but I'm sure without a shadow of a doubt, if any time God touches you, God gives you a testimony, God gives you a song, God's tugging at your heart strings, I'm sure they'll step out of the way, and we will too, and let you come to the altar. Because it's first and foremost about serving God and putting Him first in our lives. And it's not about us. You may find us entertaining, but we're not here to entertain. We're here to lift up the name of God. Because He is our all in all this evening. Brother Tommy, He's my buckler. He's my high towel. He's my lily in the valley. He's my bright and morning star. He's the lamp to my feet that shines on that path that I've got to walk. And that's that path to heaven. So we're thankful to be here tonight. He's already introduced all of us. We'll try to do a little bit for you, and we're not going to hold you long because I come to hear some preaching tonight. <coughs> Though in the grave Jesus lay, bound by dead night and day, a soul. In hopes they would his body stay. But on the third day he arose. Out of the tomb the story goes. Alive and well he walks once again. I'm gone.
Yes, what a sin. 